Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Master Luke here, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. Part 1. White Clouds. Great Tree Moon. Three Houses. I gotta say, I really love the narration in this game. <laughs> it's really good. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodland, heralding the start of a new year. Hmm. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. All right, so it's almost springtime, I guess. The continent of Fodlin, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. There we go. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Hmm. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlin and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. And notice there's like a sliver right between Fodlin that nobody, or not Fodlin, between uh, the red and the blue that nobody claimed. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. Wow, the architecture is really impressive. Look at that. <laughs> this is crazy. Is that a bit of contempt? I don't know. It didn't sound super nice when he said it. He is pretty, though. I wonder, did the flow of time bring you here? Oh, she knows something. She definitely knows something. Okay. It's been Audience. years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now. Uh... Her? Been here? Yeah, who, who are you talking about? You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop. Lady Rhea. Oh, okay, so she's not the queen. Yeah, Lady Rhea. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlin are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Gerald. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It okay. has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the Goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? My name is... A 
fine oh, okay. name indeed. My name is Luke. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers Academy. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, <laughs> don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Ah, I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. <laughs> And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. I mean, it's not like he, he kind of was, he, nobody forced him to, he was just, all right, fine, I guess I'll rejoin. Like, what are you talking about, Gerald? I must work here? As a, as a mercenary. Nothing like that. They want you no. to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers Academy, right? Well, the academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Man, if only it was that easy to just land uh, the job. No, <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. Oh, they're going for Gerald. They're like, oh, it must be you, sir. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. Yeah, nah, she's pretty, but I don't I don't know if I trust her yet. I don't know what she's thinking, making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Yeah. I mean, we did land this job pretty easily. <laughs> we didn't even ask for it, so... Yeah, it's kind of oh, shady. it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated. As you well know, I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officers' Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice oh to my. meet you. And available. Ooh. You're a physician. Ooh. You're a doctor? You're, so uh, you're a doctor? You're a physician? <laughs> I look too pretty for that line of work, do I? But yes, when I'm not teaching, I can be found in the infirmary. Hmm. If okay. you're ever lonely, please do come and pay me a visit. I would love to. Oh my goodness, she's really going hard for this kid. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, calm down, calm down. We just, we just met, we just met. Now, it's okay. It seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officer's Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess who is in line to be the next emperor. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Pardus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next king of Pardus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next emperor King and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm, quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you have a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. 
I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Oh, okay. Have you okay. no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our sea academy I... is... I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, hmm. that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Hmm. So I noticed that she still has the same flowers as that um, lady at the beginning of the game in that opening cutscene. I'm not gonna lie, as much as I like the red houses, uh, I, there's a lot of characters in the other the other classes that I really like as well. The other houses. That's why we're eventually gonna play all three routes, because I want to experience everyone in this game. But they all have such unique characters that I can't wait to try them all. So many of them. exploring okay move around you can dash uh if you're unsure what to do look to the left side of the screen current objectives displayed there all right awesome your first task okay so that's nice you got free camera and then it was b to dash but you have to hold it okay all right what do you got for us i assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the officers academy i am correct to start Please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. Okay. May I ask a favor of you? You quest. Oh, oh, and we get some money from and stuff for it. Cool. All right, so quest or tasks. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Okay, so you can see your list of quests. Can you bring that up? Okay. That zooms in. All right. Okay, so it's X. Brings it all up. Goals, roster. Oh, this kind of goes through all... Hey, look at this. Oh, I see. Oh, this is everybody. This isn't just your class. This is... This is everyone, I think. Um. Storehouse. What is this? Huh. Oh, so you can get other stuff, too. Cool. Okay. We'll have to figure out what all that's for later. Uh, guide, options, calendar. Okay, awesome. All right. So it looks like there's some people talking down here. Ha! 
I imagine you were a bit surprised oh, it's these guys that I earlier. recommended you as a professor here. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Alright. Alright, that's not anything. I'm sure it'll be marked on the map if it is something. Alright, first floor. Or, can we... Oh, you have to click on the arrow. Okay. I gotcha. Alright, mini-map. Mini-map in the upper right corner. Zoom with the ZR button. Oh, okay. Oh, you can... Ooh, you can even make it... Like a full... A full map of the monastery like that. Oh, that's cool. This is a really cool place. I really like this area a lot. And it's nice to have like a, a massive 3D environment to explore as well. All right. So you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. Oh, don't worry. We will. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressfeld. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, let's hear about you. Me? Well, some think I'm a bit distant. Arrogant, even. But there's little to be done. One day, I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Okay. It kind of just shows your stats and stuff. Imperial lineage multiplies experience by 1.2. Okay. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit huh. cold, but <laughs> actually that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. I like how a bunch, before the game launched, a bunch of people thought he was going to be evil. And who knows, maybe he might be, but like just by looking at him, people were like, oh, okay, yeah, there's, something's not right with him. <laughs> um, and then our favorite of the bunch, Petra. To the west of Fogland is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. There we go. Okay, Hunter's Boon grants uh, 20 plus crit when foe's HP is less than 50%. Um, okay. Well, cool. Alright. And eventually we'll go through everybody. Um, we spoke to one of the house leaders. Oh, we can't talk to everybody. Alright. Only if they have like a little icon above their name or something. Alright, so that was Aelgard. What does this gatekeeper say? You must be the new professor. What a pleasure. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Uh, and by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. Awesome. Hello there. Um, Let's go down here. You, you can't go past here. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? All right, fine. We'll go a different route. Yes. Let's see, down here? Oh, the door's just magically open for me. How convenient. Very cool, leads out into the courtyards. Okay, so now we're outside the officer's academy. Very cool. Ah. Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Oh. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? 
Uh, sure. What do you got for me? <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little. Okay. All right. Um, did I pass somebody up right here? Oh, they're inside. That's what it is. All right, so we talked to him. There's Dimitri down there. That's so. But what happens if we go inside here? What do you think? Oh, I see. Okay. Hi. So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Ignatz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. <laughs> and I am Lysithia von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. Please do not forget it. <laughs> okay. Think? That's a little bit scary. <gasps> yes. Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M Marianne Van Edmund. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. Very cool. All right. And finally, oh wait a second. Oh, there's a couple of people someone's over guest. Here. The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. Raphael. <laughs> I like to hit first, ask questions later. <laughs> Hi, I'm Leone Pinelli. He, can, he even matches. First and greatest oh my apprentice. goodness. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Look at the kitty. <gasps> he, she's so cute. I don't think you can pet him, though. No. All right. Right, right. Spotted Dimitri. My apologies. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any case, welcome to the monastery. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the blue lions catch your attention? Me? Oh, um... Please forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me, but I understand if that can't be helped. Hmm. Hello. Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. She's cheerful and hardworking. Brilliant, really. Though she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. Oh my goodness. Annette is Baron Dom. She's cheer. All right. There we go. I appreciate your effort. And that looks like we completed the quest. Awesome. Received an iron sword, Volnary, and 500 gold. I suppose I should return to Rhea. Um, yeah, let's just go back to the audience chamber. I think we explored enough. How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I guess I already figured we did that in the last episode. I but... must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself. He'll, he's never going to trust task. us. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. Oh. All right. Now it's now we actually pick. Uh, as much as I like a lot of the other students on Golden Deer, and then I feel like of all, I feel like the Blue Lions is the weakest. Um, I'm still gonna go with Black Eagles. So you have Can't chosen pass up the Black Edelgard. Eagles led by Edelgard, correct? 
Yes, absolutely. Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Hmm. Okay. Wait, so our new professor is you? I didn't see that one coming. Easy, Caspar. <laughs> Aren't you being a bit rude? It's okay, Juno. You know it's a waste of time to expect politeness from him. It will be a pleasure learning from you, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to take a nap. No, we. There's two like characters that, that are sleepyheads. Oh, and please don't talk to me too much either. Don't don't talk to me too much. Okay, bro. We already have we. Now we got two characters that are going to be falling asleep on us. I'm sorry for the chaos you've walked into. I hear we are rather close in age, Professor. Hope professor. you do not mind if we treat you like one of us. In our class, we try to treat each other as equals, despite any differences in age or status. Personally, I would love to include you in that inner circle. Uh, I don't mind. Oh. It is not like it gives us another option. You have a gut, Professor. I will take great joy from your teachings. Petra, I believe you mean to say that our Professor has guts. That's a bit different from having a gut. You can't go around saying someone so slim and attractive has a gut. Ooh. Oh, uh, please take my apologies. I have not yet mastered this language. Professor, I want you to know that it's perfectly acceptable for you to treat me as you do the others. I may be the Imperial Princess, but here at the Academy, I'm just another student. That said, know that I have high expectations of you, and high hopes, but I'm certain you can lead the Black Eagle House to greatness. Of course. Sure, sure. Now let's break the ice with a training session. I want to see our new teacher in action. Why will the ice be broken? Is this a custom I have missed in my studies? Oh my god. It's Starfire. It's it, it's literally just Starfire. Not realized. I just realized that. Of, um, well, it just means let's get to know each other. Uh, I don't want to train. Let's stay in the classroom and learn from a book. Let's all calm down and have a nice cup of tea. How about? Doesn't that sound lovely, Professor? Bro, he's already asleep. I know we all agree to treat each other as equals, but there is a limit to what I can tolerate. The esteemed Black Eagle House requires order. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Looks like your first job will be to quiet down this racket. I don't envy you. Uh, they're not normally this... rowdy. I do hope you can manage, Professor. Oh, we can manage. We got this. There are new places to explore in the monastery. Oh, cool. Uh, received 1,000 gold from the Church of Saros as funding for this month's activities. Okay. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Hmm. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. Okay. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything, absolutely everything about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Crests uh. are a fascinating topic, but before one can dive deeply into said topic, 
one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. And you believe I have a crest? I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Do what you can to find out. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. Hmm, what could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps, what in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. Uh, you gonna give me something here? <laughs> All right, I guess we'll figure out about that later. You can now select the protagonist officer's academy uniform in the journal. Moon, professors of the officer's academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. Okay. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. Okay. The monastery schedule features different events on different days. Each week, you'll have one day off where you choose an activity from the list. Your only options at first will be explore. Select the calendar and the directional buttons to schedule. Alright. Uh, yeah, so we can't do a seminar, we can't do a battle yet. Alright. So I guess we're exploring today. Yes, I would. So this is my room. I thought I heard a girl's voice, but I have been imagining that. Alright, let's see here. So now we can go to... Inventory? Items? What did they say? Uh, I was just reading it. What did they say it was under? Maybe under options? Um... Monastery. General. Nope. Okay. Where's the clothing option? Nope, not in there. Support. Uh... Dang, I thought they said it was in the journal. Oh, well. Fresh catch. Here we go. Greetings all, please assist me in catching a delectable fish for the St. Uh, Kethlian Celebration. This is the dormitory. Okay. Fast travel there. Jared Bite. Green Thumb Beginnings. Okay. Oh, unit appearance. Okay, so it's this journal, not the other journal. Tire. Here we go. Uh, with cloak, without cloak. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I kind of like, I kind of like the look of the cloak. 
Let's see what it looks like without the cloak. So now I match everybody else. You know what? I'm good without the cloak. Uh, nah, nope. Nope, I thought I could go without it. <laughs> I, it, it does kind of look better. Because it makes me look more like the professor. All right, we keep, we keep the cloak. All right. These are the students' quarters. All right. All right, so I guess this is my room at the very end of the hall. Oh, they're cool. Yes. Let's see. I heard about the upcoming mock battle. I want you to know, Professor, that I do not intend to lose. Hmm. I hereby declare my intention to prevail at... Goodness, listen to me. The thrill of competition has carried me away. I won't speak so formally of the class assignment in the future. Okay. <laughs> Let me know when you are hungry. I will make you a quality meal, as thanks for your service to His Highness. Oh. Okay. I have a request. Uh, oh, he's the one with green thumb beginnings. Okay. <laughs> nice camera work there. All right. Um, oh, see. Professor, have you adjusted to life at the Academy yet? Me, I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. Hey, Teach, I hear there's going to be a mock battle between the houses. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. Maybe take it easy on us. What do you say? Uh, I don't know. All right, let's keep exploring. This, is, this place is really cool. Uh, so we can't go to the first floor of the dormitory yet. All right. This is a ground level, I guess. Okay. Hey. I'm Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. Huh. It may have okay. been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. All right. So I wonder if there's a way to tell who has quests and who did. Oh, here we go. I don't like to come out unless I really have to. Hope you're okay with that, Professor. I mean, I kind of want you to come out and. Bernadetta, open this door. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, you can see the quest by this. There we go. Okay. Well, there's Dorothea, Hilda, and Mercedes. Lady Rhea is quite the beauty, too. And I must admit, I've even checked out <laughs> Professor Manuela once or twice. Oh, my goodness. You know, Professor, I think I'm going to like it at the Officer's Academy. There are beautiful girls as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Professor? What's this quest? I've got a small favor to ask. <laughs> All right, cheer a bite. Sounds good. We'll set you up with a date. Don't worry. All right, so down here. I guess it's over here a little bit. What is this? Spotted Felix, Spotted Raphael. Oh, this is the dining hall. Oh, okay. I'm busy. Do you want something? Uh, I was hoping to spar with right you. right now, but let's fight soon. I look forward to beating you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Dining staff. Invite some. Ooh, oh, he's got some. I really need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. Well, you already look. <laughs> oh my goodness. Keep eating. All right, today's special full menu. Let's see, what's today's special? All right. Would you like to share a meal with Edelgard and Bernadetta? Bernadetta doesn't seem to want to do anything with anybody, so Dorothy is probably a better idea. <laughs> Excuse me, Jotaro. Yes. Oh, I love this meal. How did you know? I think I like this. But it's been a while, so I'm not sure. Hey, look at that. They're even more motivated. Okay. So does that affect their stats, I guess? Oh, I see. Okay. Fessel level up. 
you have no uh, more activity points for exploration. You will now receive more monthly funds for activities. Oh, nice. okay, cool. I knew I could count on you. Oh. Okay. Cool. So we got some food and some other items. All right. Speak with your house leader. She wasn't in here, was she? No. Hello Who's there, this? Professor. Oh, this is the well, girl from earlier. I call you that, but I am afraid I am not a student here myself. My brother it? would not be pleased if he heard you saying such things. Oh, oh, she's a kid. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. I see. Might you help me with a favor? All right. Uh, oh, there's the fresh cash. Catch. Sounds good to me. All right. Greetings. That was the dining hall. Um, but we should. There's like a fishing pond and like a garden and all that stuff around here. Right. This wasn't where we came from earlier, was it? No, I don't think. Oh, it's inside. Right, right. Uh, no, that's not a quest. I'm looking. I'm trying to pick up all the side quests that I can. Um. What is this? Is this something? Oh, this is the bulletin board. Oh, okay. Uh, fast travel to the vicinity of what? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me know when I will make you. A okay. Yeah, I don't know what that did. I think I just messed up. <gasps> no, what did I do? I teleported to him on accident. I thought that was gonna take me to a quest. That's okay. Do I have to talk to him now well, that his quest over? Thea. You know, Professor? No. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Greenhouse and... Okay, so it's the same thing. The greenhouse and the fishing pond is all one. I don't know what it is, but something about video games <laughs> with a fishing minigame always makes me smile. All right, would you like to do some gardening? Great. Yes, I would. All right, by gardening, you can harvest all kinds of crops. Flowers, for instance, make great gifts. Some people even might decorate their rooms with the flowers you give them. Use the plant command to decide which seeds to use. More seeds means a bigger harvest, while more compatible seeds will lead to a higher quality. Use the cultivate command to pay the greenhouse keeper to look after your crop. The more you spend, the better your harvest will be. Your crop will be ready one week after you plant your seeds. Use the harvest command to gather what you've grown. Okay. All right. Uh, check back when you explore the monastery on your next free day. Cultivate. Infuse with magic, pour amrid water. Okay, well, it doesn't cost anything to infuse with magic, so sure. Oh, can you only do one? Oh, okay. All right. So maybe you can only do that once. All right, now where's the fishing pond? Oh, vegetables, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, there's like a little blue light there. That was just some vegetable seeds hanging out. All right, and the fishing pond is over here. Spotted Marianne. Goddess, goddess, I pray to thee, please protect us. <sighs> All right, so how do we go fishing? Catch a fish at the fishing pond. Goddess. All right, oh, we gotta go here. Fish keeper, there it is. Would you like to fish in the pond? Yes, we would. All right, to begin fishing, select your bait. Wait until you see the silhouette of a fish you wanna catch, then press A to hook it. Don't wait too long or the fish will escape with the bait. Press the A button. When it circles to overlap, reduce the stamina of the hook fish. Once the stamina is depleted, you will have successfully caught the fish. Uh, if your line breaks, fish will escape. Durability fishing line increases with professional level. Repeated excellent timings will create combos that reduces the fish's stamina quickly. If you land excellent timings at all opportunities, you will get a more valuable fish than usual. Awesome. Yes, let's use the bait. Alright, wait for this. Little... Oh, I see something. Oh! Nice! Come on, we got this. Oh. 
It was it. It was only two. Uh, Carisius? Carisius? I, yeah, I don't know how you say that. <laughs> the small fish is common. Okay. All right. Well, that was all of our bait. Report to Flan. Yes. Is this we might have to talk to her. You have helped me so much. There we go. Now the quest is complete. Okay. All right. So we are back up here. Let's see, where haven't we still have to go find Edelgard somewhere? And I don't know where she is. You do not have any business down here. Oh, we can't even go up those stairs. Okay. There's so many animals around here, but you can't pet them or pick them up. That makes me so sad. Wait a second. Oh, that's a giant owl. I was like, er, is that an owl? Yeah, it's an owl. Some right. believe the dignity of the empire rests on the results of the mock battle. That's an overstatement, of course. Still, we must do our best to prevail. You should take the time to learn each student's abilities. Perhaps some extra lessons and training sessions are in order? Perhaps. You look as if you have no idea what's going on here. I know my way around, so I'm happy to help you find your footing. Okay. All right, finish exploration. You will usually want to finish exploring when your activity points runs out. Press L to do so. Well, how do I see how much activity points I have left? Oh, okay, so I have zero. So that's what that is, the zero timer, I guess. All right. So, yes, finish exploring. No. It's for Nan's birthday. Would you like to apply flowers? Yes, we'll give him some flowers. I mean, we got plenty of money in, in the account. Colored glass in this beloved place. 